DigiCube's application could be useful in your math class. From your iPad, select the DigiCube's app. When it opens, we can see that we have a large workspace window where we can start right away. We can also learn a little bit about DigiCubes and the research behind it. Let's head straight into our workspace. When we select our workspace, we can see that across the bottom, we have blank single white tiles, groups of 10 tiles, a home button, the coloration button, a screenshot tool, and a trash can. Using DigiCubes, your students can select single cubes and with their finger drag them into the workspace. As soon as the students join cubes, their color changes. When we then break cubes apart, the coloration remains the same. In your math class, students could use DigiCubes to show how the number 7 could be broken into pairs. By bringing up 7 cubes and breaking them apart, students can see that 7 can be broken nicely into a group of 6 and a group of 1, or a group of 4 and a group of 3. They would also be able to see that 7 cannot be broken into groups of 2. Another way to use DigiCubes could be to ask students to represent the number 13. You bring up a group of 10 and add 3 to it so that they could see that the number 13 is made up of 3 singles and one group of 10. If we wanted to change the coloration, we can use our button at the bottom of the screen, remove or add the coloration. We could take a screenshot using the camera tool, which we'll save to our camera roll inside the iPad. We hope the DigiCubes will be a valuable part of your math instruction tool chest.